Good morning, everyone online and good morning everyone here at CTEC. We are so happy to have you all here with us today. This is our fifth annual Career and Technical Education or CTE signing day. And today, 29 students will sign letters of intent to show their commitment to their future career or the military. In addition, we have several students interviewing from our job fair last week with several other companies and we will celebrate them as soon as we get them hired. This is similar to signing days for college athletes committing to athletic programs. Our CCPS CT signing day will give our students the opportunity to profess their intentions for their future. The purpose of the letter that the students will be signing today along with their parents and their employer or uh, recruiter is to outline the expect expectations of all parties to help ensure success for both the student and their employer or military branch. This represents the investment that all parties are making in the development of the student's future. In the letter, the student expectations include graduating from high school in good standing, attending school and work each day on time and following all guidelines, passing any certification test associated with their curriculum, and continuing to be a model student and employee or recruit until graduation. The employer or military expectations include providing feedback to the employee or recruit, providing reasonable opportunities for the student to learn skills necessary to be successful. So our first student, we're very excited to welcome Mr. Tyler Hughes. And Tyler, if you will come up and sit behind your name there, sir. And from Marriott Ranch, Mr. Levi Madison. And then we're going to ask the principal of CCHS, Dr. Soderholm, Counselor Rebecca Fitchthorne, Principal of CTEC, Mr. Sean Summerscales, Mom, Donna Bow, Dad, Ron Hughes, Sister, Samantha Hughes, and friend, Nazar Rice, to please come up and stand behind Tyler. So Tyler, once everyone gets up there, open your portfolio and you'll see the letter of intent that I just explained. And we wish to congratulate you and celebrate you as you sign this letter of intent to work for the Marriott Ranch. Go ahead and sign. There's a signature for your parents. Got Oh, gosh, I missed that part. All right, everyone, we need you to look there at Mr. Corbin for a picture once Dad signs. Oh, wait, where's Chef Cohen? You need up there. I'm sorry, I forgot the man of the hour. <laughs> Then we'll get our picture. Another round of applause for Tyler. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you all. You guys can go back.
Okay, next we have Mr. Carlos Navarro Hernandez. If you will please come up and sit behind your name and joining you will be Mr. Kyle Knight from Lights by Night. And Mr. Sheriff, our Sheriff, Mr. Tim Chilton. And then we have your principal, Dr. Soderholm, Ms. Fickthorn, and Mr. Summerscales. As I said, Carlos is going to work for Lights by Night. If you will open your portfolio there, sir, and sign your letter of intent. And it looks like Mr. Knight brought you some swag. <laughs> yeah. All right, congratulations, sir. You wanna put that, you gotta get your picture taken. You wanna put your hat on for your picture? Or just hold it. Excellent. All right, next we have Miss Allie Ivy. If Allie will come up. And she'll be joined by her principal, Dr. Bopp, and her principal, Mr. Summerscales. Is Miss Barlow? There she is. Is that mom? I didn't have mom's name, welcome. <laughs> That's okay, I'm glad you're here. Allie is going to work for Home Instead, in it, or I think she's already working there, right? If you open your portfolio, we would love to watch you sign your letter of intent. Congratulations, if you'll look at Mr. Corbin, we'll give you a round of applause. Congratulations, Allie. Now we're moving into the military. We are joined this morning by Major Murata Phillips. And uh, is First Sergeant here? I'm not sure. Okay, well, thank you, Major. And first up is the Navy. And we are welcoming David Johnson, if you'll come forward, sir. And with him today are his principal, um, Mitch Fickthorn's here, um, his mom, Polly Johnson, his grandmother, J Jenny Reardon, his BFF, and, and mine too sometimes, Maddox Lane, come on up. <laughs> hey, I'm just reading what's on the paper, Maddox. You're the BFF. <laughs> Welcome to the Navy, David. Very excited for you and your family. Congratulations. Uh, we'll give you a round of applause while you, we get your picture. Major, can we get a picture, please? Mr. Corbin, can you see them all? Excellent. We're so excited for you. Mrs. Singleton, I don't have a paper for Edvin. Is he here?
So Edvin is not here, but Edvin Pablo Perez, I'd love to give him a round of applause. He is joining the Air Force. And do we have McKenna? Is she here? Well, let's give her a round of applause. M McKenna Stetka for the Army. I know Jasmine is here. If Jasmine Malone would come up, she is going to the Army Reserves. Her mom is here, Stacy Oliver. Staff Sergeant is here. And Major, of course, is here. We're very proud of you, young lady. If you would open your portfolio and sign your letter of intent. Take your pick. Congratulations. <laughs> Y'all got to holler at me if I don't move these slides. All right, now we are on to Marines and Miss Ariel Coppage, if you'll please come forward. She is a student at Culpeper County High School. And Chef is coming up because she's also a part of our culinary arts program here at SeaTech. Very excited for you. If you will open your portfolio and sign your letter of intent. Major, can you please join us too? Right, wonderful, congratulations. <laughs> what do we say in the Marines? Hoorah, hoorah. <laughs> All right, next we have Alexis Garcia Harlow. Please come forward. Also a Culpeper County High School student, her mom, Brandy Harlow. And her grandparents, Tina and Dennis Harlow, if you would please come forward. We see your mom all the time. <laughs> we really appreciate you all being here. If you will open up and sign your letter. Congratulations. Next up is Luis Fernando Alvaro. I'm messing up your name. You, you want to say it for me? Luis Fernando Alvaro Castanets. Beautiful. I could never say it that good. <laughs> this young man is going into the Marines. He's a, from Culpeper County High School. We're so very proud of you. If you want to open your portfolio and sign.
Congratulations. And our last student is Julian Hale from Culpeper County High School. Y'all doing something right over there. If you'll please come forward. Mom, Julie Bush, and friend, Austin Clements. Hello. Congratulations. Hoorah. 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 I love it. We, have one more we do. Yeah. Who is that? Come forward. I don't have a sheet for him. I'm sorry. Excellent. Andre Nicholson. Is he also from Culpeper County High School? Eastern View. Is Dr. Bob still here? Mr. Summers Scales, can you come up, sir? We're all very proud of you. Congrats. If you'll open that up and sign, and Major will sign. Congratulations. Hooray. 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 Before we close, I just want to say that it's uh, really tremendous for this audience to be here today. I've never seen so many people come to a signing day for any athlete or, or someone going in the workforce. And a sincere thank you to all of you for being here and for those online. Um, as you can see from our students today, their future is certainly bright. I love that we have underclassmen here to support you and they could see themselves in these seats next year. We have very much to celebrate and I feel like with all that's going on, this is really something to, to cherish. I know it only took 20 minutes to do this, but I know it's something that we can look back at the pictures, but it's something that we can treasure for a long time. So a sincere thank you to, all, to you all, and let's give everyone another round of applause. <laughs> also, if any of you would like to take pictures after we're done, you can. And Ian and Mr. Corbin did a beautiful setup in the hallway for you to be able to take pictures. I would love if we could get one with all of the ROTC students with, with those going into the military as well. So thank you again for being here, and good luck, everyone. Good afternoon. We welcome all of you here today, and we welcome you online to our fifth annual Career and Technical Education, or CTE, Signing Day. Today, 29 students will sign letters of intent to show their commitment to the military or their future career. In addition, we have several students still interviewing from our job fair last week, and we will celebrate those students as well as they get hired. This is similar to signing days that you have seen for college athletes committing to athletic programs. 
our Culpeper County Public Schools CTE signing day will give our students the opportunity to profess their intentions for their future. The purpose of the letter being signed this, this afternoon, along with their parents, their employer, this morning, their recruiters, is to outline the expectations of all parties to help ensure success for both the student and their employer or military branch. This represents an investment that all parties are making in the development of our students' future. In the letter that the students signed, the student expectations include graduating from high school in good standing, attending school and work each day on time and following all guidelines, passing any certification test associated with their curriculum, and continue to be a model student and employee until graduation, which I know you guys are very excited about. The employer or military expectations include providing feedback to the employee or the recruit and providing reasonable opportunities for the student to learn skills necessary to be successful. I'm really excited for all of you to see this this, this afternoon. This morning was full of joy and tears and celebration. So I'm pleased to welcome first uh, Cedar Mountain Stone and Shimon Contracting, the owner, Mr. Ed Dalrymple, and Matt Curis, if they will come up first. And we will be celebrating Mr. Elijah Banks, who will be working for them full time. He is a student at Culpeper County High School. He is going to be joined by our superintendent, Dr. Tony Brads, uh, his counselor, Rebecca Fickthorn. His family is here. Lynn Banks, his mom, Peggy Brown, grandmother, and Haley Deskins, friend. So if you all please come up with Elijah. And Dr. Soderholm uh, sent a message. He will be here soon, Elijah. But if you'll open that up, you know the drill. You're gonna sign your letter of intent. Your mom is also gonna sign. And then we're gonna take pictures and clap real loud to celebrate you. Round of applause for Mr. Elijah Banks. If you will all look at Mr. Corbin and get a picture, please, before you walk away. We're so proud of you. Thank you. Next up is Mr. Elliot Butler, Jr., also from Culpeper County High School. He will also be working for Cedar Mountain Stone if Dr. Brads, oh, Dr. Soderholm is here, great. I know Dr. Brads is happy about that. <laughs> Mr. Summerscales, would you like to join, please, sir? All right, Elliot, if you will open your portfolio and sign. Mr. Summerskells and I have really enjoyed getting to know these three young men here at CTEC. Very proud of them. Go ahead, Max. Yes, and, so, and Mr. Dalrymple is very proud as well. Please give a warm round of applause for Elliot. Congrats. Next, we have Mr. Irwin Thomas. Er, uh, why did I say that? Um, Merwin Thomas, we are, he is really special to us. Uh, he has spoken on our behalf at school board meetings, community meetings, and I don't think he's done yet. We're gonna ask him one more time, I believe. This young man, along with the others, is going places. He's an Eastern View High School student, and he is joined by his principal, Dr. Nate Bopp. And his mom is here, 
Melanie McCauley. So go ahead and open Merwin and sign your letter of intent. Congratulations, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. Our next student is Lucas Beatty. And he will be working for Battlefield Automotive if he would come up. He is from Culpeper County High School. He is joined by Ms. Fickthorne, Dr. Soderholm, Mr. Cole Shelton, who is his instructor, and Mr. Summerscales, the principal here at SeaTech. He also has here Alicia and Charlie Beatty. Did I say that wrong? No, you're right. Okay, great. We're so glad you're here. And then from Battlefield Automotive, we have Devin Fitzgerald and Brandon Cross. So Lucas, you can go ahead and open that up. Fantastic. Let's give him a, a round of applause. Thank you. Congrats. All right, please welcome Connor Kelly, our Eastern View High School student, also working with Battlefield. His dad and stepmom are here, Tony Kelly and Chris Kelly. We're so glad to have you. All right, Connor, we're excited to watch you sign your letter of intent. You can open your portfolio and sign away. Excellent. Congratulations. Also working at Battlefield is Roman Holsinger, if you could please come forward. And Corey and Danita Holsinger, mom and dad. And Roman is also in the top 20 of his graduating class. Dr. Soderholm just said that's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> All right, sir, this is a proud moment for your family. Please open and sign your letter of intent. Congratulations. <laughs> Wonderful. Good job, buddy. 
And also working for Battlefield is Caleb Morgan, if you'll please come forward. And his mom, Becky Morgan, is here with us. Also Culpeper County High School. Okay, you can open your portfolio and sign. Love that hat. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next business is Chrysler of Culpeper, and if Jake Jathan Dry could come forward. He's an Eastern View High School student. And Kevin Jones, a wonderful partner from Chrysler, is coming forward. Jathan, right bes before we started, Mr. Jones couldn't say enough good things about you. You can go ahead and open that up and sign your letter. Congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Bob, you can stay up here, sir. American Mechanical Services is hiring Chris Flood, if he would please come forward. Eastern View High School student and his stepdad, Jason Jenkins, is here. So glad to have you. And his teacher, Mr. Matt Barton. You can go ahead and open that up and sign, please. Congratulations. Smile for Mr. Corbin, please. Mr. Logan Allen is going to work for Dy Dynamic Heating and Cooling. Logan, if you'd please come forward. I see Logan every day when I drop my son off at Culpeper County High School. <laughs> With Logan is mom, Sharon Allen, dad, Matthew Allen, and Lori Harding, grandmother. Good to see you, Lori. Yeah, thank you all for coming. You can go ahead and open and sign. That's fine. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Very proud of you. Very excited to introduce Blake Burke, 
who will be working for Able Heating and Air. He is a student at Culpeper County High School. And joining him is his mom, Kim Burke, his grandmother, Phyllis Inskip, and the owner of Able Heating and Air, Mr. Greg Venable. You got some good stuff. <laughs> Greg, where's mine? <laughs> Congratulations. We're very excited for Glenda Panada to be joining the team. Well, she's already there at College Spa. <laughs> Eastern View High School student. She's going to be joined by our cosmetology instructor. That side, please. Mrs. Harris is going to come up. Miss New Penton. And then, of course, Mr. Brian Lamb. You can open your portfolio and sign. Fantastic, congratulations. Oh, you got to wait for your picture. <laughs> Next, from Main Street Hair, Josela Sanchez Cruz. And joining her is the owner, Miss Corey Jury. I can speak to Hosella's experience as she helps with my hair. <laughs> you can open and sign when ready. So excited for you. Congratulations. Oh, she is in the top. No, oh, the next one's in the top 20. Okay. Congratulations. Next up, we have sheer artistry, Anaya Quinn, if you'll please come forward. And as Dr. Bob just said, she is in the top 20. Congratulations. It's awesome. With her are the owners, uh, Eileen and Steve. I don't want to say it wrong. I'm scared I'm going to say the last name wrong. Panch Pacheco. Pacheco. And also with her, Miss Patty just gave me a note, is Ashley Quinn and Miriam Turley, her grandmother.
Congratulations. Yes, sir. Working at PR at Partners is Jade Aftab. Jade, if you'll come forward. With her today is mom, Becky Edwards, bonus dad, I love that, Brandon Edwards, her aunt, Rachel Dawson, and from PR Partners, and this is in Gainesville, is Miss Beavers. And I don't know the baby's name. <laughs> What's the baby's name? Mercy. Mercy. Beautiful. Congratulations. Also working at PR at Partners is Cora Lewis, if you'll please come up. She is an Eastern View High School student. You can open that up and sign, please. one. So let's give them all another round of applause. I must thank the many people that helped put CTE Signing Day together. I know it's a quick 20-minute um, event, but it takes much longer to put this together, especially from the students and the work that they do. Uh, many for two years here at CTEC to be able to go into these programs. I said this morning, and I want to say it again, that it is absolutely incredible to see the turnout and to know that over 100 people are watching online again. Just truly incredible. Uh, I always say that there's no place like Culpeper, and I mean that, because look at all the people in the room right now to celebrate these students. It just doesn't happen anywhere else like this. Um, I really want the students and the parents to just take a minute and take it in at what just happened. Uh, we'll have the pictures to remember, but these students just signed for their future. They invested in their future. And um, can't stress enough how proud Mr. Summerscales and I and Dr. Bob and Dr. Soderholm and Dr. Brads are of these students. It's a joy and an honor to celebrate you today um, and our teachers and the administrators. The Virginia Department of Education is placing a spotlight on graduating productive citizens, and we certainly agree with that. And I'm very proud to say that Culpeper County is leading the way. So thank you for being here today. It's been a real pleasure. Take care. One last thing. If you would like to take pictures, you have this space, and there's a wonderful space out in the hallway that you can take pictures at. And we have two professional cameras here and amazing uh, ladies and gentlemen that will take your pictures for you if you'd like. So thank you. Please stick around. Thank you.